guys, it's Anna here today, and today I've got a free pattern sew along for you. I actually went to the thrift store today, and I got a t-shirt. Well, not today. I went just a few days ago. But anyway, still the same thing. I got a t-shirt, and I got a shower curtain, and these are the materials I'm going to be using for our free sew along today, which will be great, because it will be, I guess I can't say free, but this was really inexpensive to get from the thrift store, and we're going to turn it on a cute outfit. I'm going to be using the Bad Rep set by George and Ginger. This is a tank uh, top and a tiered skirt, which I love tiers. If you've been around here by any length of time, you know that. So I'm super excited about this. This is going to be super quick and super simple. So let's sew it up together. All right, let's get started. I have my t-shirt here. I have my printed out pattern for my top. Now, you don't have to print a pattern for the skirt because they give you the measurement so you can just cut your fabric per measurement. But your top, there is a PDF file. So you're gonna measure yourself, figure out what range you fit into, and then you're gonna glue it together or tape it together however you want to. I like to do glue. So that's what I'm doing and I hope I have enough glue. But we're just gonna line them up together, match them up right along this line. So I'm just gonna match it up to that line, you overlap. And that is how I put my pattern together. And then I'll cut it all the way around. I use Adobe Acrobat Reader. And so when I opened it, it gave me a little option to do layers, which means I only have to print my own size. I didn't have to print every single size that it offered. So that's kind of nice because then I don't have to, I don't have a, uh, so many lines to get confused by. Sometimes when you've got all the sizes, it's hard to figure out which line is your size. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. All right, for the top, I have a neck band and two arm bands and then the bodice. Now, obviously I bought this t-shirt from the thrift store and it doesn't fit me um, and I wanted to make it into the crock top. And so I can either start here, make sure it fits, and I could uh, trace the other side over or I can flip it over, like mark it where it's gonna go and flip it over. Or I can try to fold the t-shirt right at the middle, right in half, and place it right on top. You could do this with an oversized t-shirt doesn't fit you or like, you know, your husband's t-shirt. If you have a, a t-shirt that you bought that is too big for you or something like that, this would be great to do with. I need a front and a back. So that's why I'm just folding it in half because I will be cutting a front and a back. I think this is gonna be exactly what I need once I place it on here, see that? That's like perfect. Perfect. I wanna cut it as high as possible because I'm gonna have a band there, but I don't want the, the, the Nike mark to be too high up on my neck. But this is perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Right, now I've got it is thundering up a storm here now I've got my front and my back cut out as you can see here it's gonna be my front and this is gonna be my back now I gotta cut my bands now you could if you want to reuse the band from the neckline you could uh, cut it out because this is top stitched so I don't know if I wanna, mm, here's the line where they had it pieced together. You could try to use it. Um, let me, you know what? I'm gonna cut it out and see if I can use it. All I'm doing is cutting this seam. I don't wanna take it all apart. It's gonna take too long for me to take it all apart. So I'm just gonna cut right here at the bottom and see if, how wide it is. If not, I can just use the bottom of my t-shirt. Okay. 
it might not be long enough it might not be enough no it's not because they have this backing here it gets too thin I mean, it's long enough. But this is how wide it is. This is the widest part right here, which is a lot thinner than what they call for. So I could have a really thin band if I want to use this ribbing because it is, it is thick enough here, but not over here on this side. And obviously you want it all to be the same size. This would have been perfect. But this size is too small. So I'm going to see if I have enough here at the bottom. And I'll just use the t-shirt material for the bands. I need one neckline. And I need two armbands. And I think I will have enough. So I'm just going to do that instead. Neckband, armbands, and front and back. And now it's pouring and it's the perfect time to sew. All right, so now for the skirt piece, um, if you go onto, when you download your pattern piece, it'll tell you the exact measurements for each tier. Because I'm using this um, curtain fabric, I don't have a lot of length to do the maxi. So I'm doing the midi length, so I'm only doing two tiers. Um, so that will give me hopefully enough fabric to cut it out. If you want to see more information about this, so, um, if you want to see it in a blog post, uh, like more of a blog post type of thing, my friend Jessica is doing a blog post on this. And so she's typing it all up in pictures and beautiful. And I'll add the information on the info box below so you can go follow her and see all her beautiful tutorials, um, and then sew this one up with us and let us know and come on our Instagram and share it with us because we'd love to see the finished results. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up to measurements and then we're gonna sew it together. All right, so I just did something silly. <laughs> I didn't have to cut it in two because it does tell me to cut two pieces but because they're gonna get sewn on the sides, I could have just cut one big piece and sewed it one side only, and then I would only have one seam and put that seam in the back. But I cut it out in two pieces. Oh well, we're going with the two pieces. All right, we're gonna work on both of these at the same time because I think they're gonna be super easy to sew up. With the top, we can start that first. We're gonna grab our bodice front and back and we place them right sides together. And I'm gonna sew those sides and shoulder seams. And then our neck band and arm bands, we're gonna fold them wrong sides together and sew the short raw edge. Now, sometimes it makes it easier if you fold them wrong sides together this way and give them a memory crease, but my iron is not turned on. So I'm just going to not do that right now. I'll probably regret it when it's time to sew it on. All right, so now my shirt will be, my uh, top will be all um, prepped. I'm gonna go do that and let's also work on the skirt because you all know I like to do everything at the same time. My two smaller panels are going to be my top. My two larger panels are going to be, well, this is definitely not it. Let's find the other panel. Y'all, did I cut? Oh, <laughs> two panels for the top, two panels for the bottom, for the middle. Oops. Now, if you have another, you would have four panels for the bottom and you would all, you would, um, prep them all the same way. So let me show you with this first panel, we're going to do, I'm going to show you with this first panel because it's smaller, so you can really see it. Well, we're going to grab the panels and we're going to face them right sides together. Now in this one, because I only have two panels, this and that one will just meet right here on the sides. But the other one, since you have four panels, you'll have to meet one on the sides and then you kind of fold over, you meet the next panel here, 
and then the next panel so you create like a circle um but obviously i'm not showing you that because i'm not doing that today if you were going to add pockets which i i'm going to do a video i'm here soon on how to put a pocket on if you wanted to add pockets to a, a uh, something that you already have or a pattern that doesn't have pockets like this one i'm going to do a video on how to do that if you were going to add pockets you would probably you would sew them on now before you sew the sides together but i'm going to sew these sides together now for the top tier i'm going to finish the raw edge the top raw edge because then we're going to fold this over to add the elastic to create the casing for the waistband here so i'm going to go ahead and sew the sides and with my serger at the same time i'm going to finish the top of the uh of the top tier and then a middle tier i'm going to match up the sides and sew up the side seams after i'm done sewing up the side seams for this middle tier i'm going to uh put in a gathering stitch at the top of the waistband i mean at the top of the of the tier because i'm going to gather the skirt to fit the size of my uh, first tier and at the bottom i'm gonna sew the bottom raw edge i'm gonna finish it because it makes it easier once it's finished to um to hem now how i'm going to sew this skirt how i like to sew woven is i first go to my sewing machine and do a straight stitch on my sewing machine with the seam allowance that is given in the pattern and then i go over to my serger and i finish the raw edge so you'll see me go over it twice first with a uh, sewing machine and then second with a serger first tier i'm going to finish up the top with the serger second tier i'm going to put in a gathering stitch here at the top and the bottom i'm going to finish up so i can fold over and hem Right now I'm finishing off those side seams with my serger. Now for the small tier, I'm going to finish off the top edge. And for the long tier, I'm finishing off the bottom edge where the hemming is gonna happen. Now we're gonna work on our bodice. And I'm gonna sew those sides and the shoulder seam. And sew the band's wrong sides, to, right sides together at the short raw edge. Now for the bottom tier on the top edge, I'm gonna put in a long basting stitch to gather our skirt with. As I do this, I'm gonna leave a long tail and I'm actually going to do, you know what, I'm gonna do two stitches. Um, you can do one stitch or you can do two stitches. Um, two stitches makes it more of an even gather. So I'm gonna go with two stitches on this one and I'll just do it like a quarter inch away, a quarter inch away from the edge, then a quarter inch away from the last stitch. All right, let's go back to our top here. What we're going to do is we're going to quarter the neckline and the arm size. Um, I like to do that with these little scissors. Um, the neckline is really important for you to get right, but because this is the same pattern piece from the front and the back, it's going to be even. So I've got um, match up the shoulder seams and go to the front and the back and mark my front and back. I do like a little snippet here to make it easier to add my neckband later and then you match up the front and the back and because it's the same front and back the shoulder seams are the half point um usually if it's a lower neckline then the shoulder seams will not be the middle point so make sure that you always match up and make sure that they do match up I have my front and my back here and the and this would be the middle i mean the quarters and you do the same for the sleeves because they're the same, it's gonna be the same again. Not all patterns do that, so make sure that if you're working with a different pattern, you measure it all out. Next, we're gonna grab our bands, and we're also going to quarter them, but first we're gonna open them up and fold them wrong sides together long ways. This is when a steam would come in handy, <laughs> but I didn't, it's fine. We're gonna go from the back to the front, mark it, then you match up the front and back and you go to each side and you mark those as well and those are your quarters all right 
right now I've got them all quartered and I'm gonna grab them and match them up to the quarters I made on my bodice. As you can see, here's the front and here's the back. I wanna make my seam go to the back and then I'm just matching them up right sides together. All right, once that's all sewn on, all we'll have left to do is to go ahead and hem the bottom. So when I go work on my skirt, I'm gonna get my iron heated up and then we'll fold over at the bottom um, and steam to get it prepped for our hem. Now let's work on our skirt. All right, I got my iron heated up and we're going to turn here. Because this is a knit, means you don't have to double fold or finish the raw edge before you hem because this is just going to be a, uh, it doesn't fray. The knit does not fray. So I'm just folding it and I'm going to go hem it. And then once we sew those um, arm bands on and neck band on and hem it, we're done with our top. I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna work on our skirt. All right, so here's my skirt top, and this is the top part that is over here finished. The raw edge is finished. We're gonna grab it and we're gonna turn it. Now, the pattern calls for an inch and a half um, elastic, but I only have an inch elastic right now. So I'm doing an inch, which is fine. Um, also, the pattern has a chart, a size chart for your elastic. Um, so I went ahead and cut that out already. So since they have called for one and a half, they fall down at, at one and, um, three and a uh, three quarters inch down but because i only have one inch right here i mean yeah one inch then i can just fold it down an inch and a quarter um because you just want to have enough room so that your elastic will fit in there you top stitch it and your elastic you know won't be like wiggling everywhere so um it, that all depends on what kind of elastic now i probably wouldn't go any lower than an inch uh, maybe maybe three quarter inch at the smallest because you don't want to you want it to have enough uh, thickness so it can hold your skirt up <laughs> so I wouldn't go any lower than that if you have bigger than that then you can definitely do that you can do it a bigger um, elastic width but I wouldn't go any lower than maybe three quarters would be the smallest I would do it so once you steam that down, you're going to go over to your machine and you're going to top stitch it down all the way around, leaving a gap where you'll insert your elastic through um, and that will create your waistband. All right, well, while my iron is hot, I'm also going to go ahead and fold the bottom edge of the second tier up, which is the hem that I'm going to do for the skirt. So that way it's already prepped. You all know I like to do everything at the same time. I don't want to put my iron away and then have to bring it back out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Even though I'll probably end up steaming the armband and neck bands of my top once I'm done sewing them anyway, because it gives it a very nice look. You can also steam the sides of your skirt, the side seams that also helps to give it more of a um, ready to wear look. People ask me like, what are some things that you do to make your garments look really, really nice and sharp? And steaming is definitely one of them. Um, steaming as you go, though, you know, I don't always steam as I go. Sometimes I just wait till the end. But steaming your garment really does do a, a lot of help. And my iron that I use, it's an Aliso Home Iron and it is uh, it's really nice. I love it. I've had it for a little while, a few months. I do plan to do a review on here on my channel. I just haven't yet because I like to use a product for a while before I do a review on it. So I will be doing a review on it coming up. Anyway, let's put that away. I say I like to do a review on it after I had it for a while, but also the fact that I'm lazy and haven't made the time to do it is another factor. <laughs> All right, so here's the bottom of the top tier. And because I like to do everything at the same time, we're going to also be attaching them together. I'm gonna fold that, match up the side seams and go to the front and the back and mark the front and the back so that I know exactly where I'm going to be uh, putting that skirt to. And I'm gonna turn it right side out, I think. And then I'm gonna grab the top of my second tier and I'm also gonna match the sides and I'm gonna go to the front and back so I know exactly where those front and back are. So that's where I'm going to match up the front and back I, front and back that I met that I marked on my 
first tier. If you have a, a third tier, you would do the same thing. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to gather the skirt up here to fit this size. So I got two lines of stitching. So I'm going to pull on that basting stitch. I'm going to pull on that um, bobbin thread. And as I pull, see how it like easy it is to gather it? It's just gathering nicely. And what I like to do is I like to put it like this. So here's my half. So I know exactly how much I need to gather. Where's my notch? Right here. So this side, I need to gather to this notch right here. So see, here's my middle piece right here. Here's my notch on this side. Like here's my notch on this side. And here's my notch on this side. So now it's gathered the width. And now I just have to kind of fix the gathers. And then I go to over here again and grab the the the, the bobbin threads going the other way. Sometimes it really does help when you use a different color thread. That's not the one. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which one's which. There's that one. And here's the other one. All right. So now we go ahead and we fit it through. And I want the front to be with the front. So find the mark. And we're going to match it up. Match up those quarter points, side seam, alright, and now you make sure that your gathers are even between them, alright, now I'm going to go ahead and sew this with my sewing machine first, sew the hem, and then, and sew the, um, elastic casing then i'm gonna go to my serger and finish off the raw edge of the seam because i want it to be finished off i don't want it to fray and i'm gonna work on my bodice then all we'll have left to do is fit in the elastic sew it closed sew it together and then sew it closed and we'll be done with our skirt and our top Make sure you set your stitch length back to the regular stitch length when you're doing this sewing. All right, we're hemming the bottom now. Sometimes it's just the thread, and I think this time it might be the case. I have, it's, I've had this thread sit in there for a little while and it can get really finicky so if it does it again it's going in the garbage and I'm going for a different thread all right we made it all the way around now all we've got left to do is over here the casing and then I'm gonna go and finish off the raw edges with my serger for the tears. All right, don't forget to leave your gap right there for when you insert your elastic. And see, sometimes all you need to do is threaten your thread and tell it that you're gonna throw it away in the garbage if it breaks one more time, and then it works beautifully. All right, I'm finishing off the edge of that skirt, and then I'm going to finish up the bodice. All right, now let's work on our bodice. We're just attaching our neckband. I start at the back point, fit it through, push the needle down, and go to the first quarter and stretch the neckband to fit. And we'll go all the way around. All right, so the bodice is done except for the hemming and I like to make sure I give it a good steam at the neckline and everything to make sure those armbands and neckbands 
look really, really good. If you're struggling and you're like, I don't know, it looks a little wavy, give it a steam first. That brings the fabric. See, okay, first of all, look at that. Now we're gonna give it a steam and you'll see. It brings the fabric together, it pulls the fibers back, and it um, fixes all that waviness and it looks so nice. See that? So sometimes when we look at our projects and we're like, oh, they look, they don't look professional. Sometimes they just need a little steaming. <clears throat> now all I've got left to do for the bodice is to go to my um, sewing machine and hem it. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. And what I'm going to do to hem it is I'm gonna use a cover stitch, which is a different type of sewing machine. It's not a serger, but if you don't have a cover stitch, you can definitely use your sewing machine at a stretch stitch um, on, um, on your sewing machine. And that is our top. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. And then on this one, you wanna go ahead and pull off that basting stitch and find it. Pull it all the way off so it's not like sitting there. It should come, you put, should be able to pull that bobbin thread and it should come right off. All right, look at how good that looks. Now at the top, it's gonna be big because you're going to insert your elastic. I'm gonna use a clothespin and you can mark your elastic, the front and the back because you don't want it to get twisted. So you can do like a mark here and here so you know that they're gonna touch and overlap. Um, that could be something that might help you so that you know that, oh, that's where I have to, that's how they're gonna overlap. You see, it's on the round, they have to touch each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit this in through my gap that I left. I love how this fabric looks, it's so pretty. And to think it was just a cheap old <laughs> curtain, shower curtain I got at the thrift store. Um, sometimes you can find fabric in all the weird random places. And I just, I just love that because it gives it a new life, something that was just discarded. Um, also, make sure that you check out Jessica, Jessica's blog. Um, where she's going to talk more about this sew along here, this, well, not sew along, but um, this free pattern uh, tutorial. And um, she has a lot more, uh, a lot of other things on there as well that you might want to check out. So see here, when we get to the end, you have the blue and mine was kind of twisted. So you wanna make sure the blue and the blue are matching here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and zigzag stitch it together. And then I'll close that gap by top stitching it down and I'm gonna hem and then we'll be done. And then I can show you what it looks like. It's gonna be adorable. I'm gonna start at seven with a zigzag stitch. Then I'm turning back to my regular stitch and closing that casing. Skirt is done. Now I'm going to use my cover stitch to hem the bottom of my bodice. All right, friends, we are finished with this sew along. I think it turned out well. Um, upcycled t-shirt and a shower curtain. I think it looks really cute. Um, the pattern, the skirt turned out really, really nice. I think I might make another one with the longer tier as well. I love it. I think it looked really cute and it was super easy to sew. Um, the top is a little bit really, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit really. It's a little bit high at the neck for me. So next time I sew it up, I might lower this front neckline just a little bit so it's not so tight up at the top. Um, the arm size were good. They're a little bit loose. So I wouldn't size up per se because I wouldn't want this to be any bigger than it already is. If anything, I might shrink the actual um, uh, armbands just like a half an inch just a smidge so they close in tighter here I wouldn't I wouldn't um, shrink the hole I would just shrink the um, bands so I probably if I made it again would shrink them down like maybe a half an inch um, and then lower the neckline uh, the length of it is a crop top obviously but it's not super short so it fits really good the length is really good um, and yeah 
those are my opinions. Make sure you check out Jessica's blog to see what she had to say about her version. I made a range 10. All right, it's me again. And this time I'm showing this skirt with a simple solid top because I'm not the most crop top wearer. So I just wanted to show you how cute it also looks with just a regular tee. Um, this is just a regular fitted um, top that I had in my closet. Um, I've had it for years and I did not make it. But there are tons of patterns that I've done sewing tutorials on here for that you could make a solid top for, which I probably should, um, and um, pair it with this beautiful skirt. So it doesn't need to just be paired with a crop top. You could just make the skirt or you could just make the crop top. That's what's really good about this pattern because it's two in one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye for real now.